con... Sí. <risa> saxophones we're in G and if you're a B flat instrument you're going to be in C so we're going to teach you the melody first um, the melody starts on the third of concert B flat major so it starts on concert D <laughs> from a, an F major triad basically so that's going to be G major for the uh, B flat instruments and D major for altos or Barry's E flat instruments <laughs> so we've got that major triad going up effectively one three and five on the F major and then we're just going to drop down a tone to the four if we're thinking about F major so one more time <laughs> And from that point, we can actually carry on thinking scalically because we're just going to carry on down. Um, if we're thinking, if we want to think about our home key, which might be easier, so in terms of B flat major, we've gone five, seven, two, one, and then we just carry going down two more notes to the seven and the six. <laughs> go back to our root note, which is um, G for the E flat instruments, or B flat or C. So it's a bit of a jump there, we've got a, a minus seventh interval, so we're going to go from the root down to the two. Should we just try that phrase from the F major? Yeah. <laughs> back to Alicia because I played the wrong rhythm at this point. Okay, we're gonna from our from our two, we're gonna go two, three, four, and we're gonna jump back up to the root note. So um, if we go from the jump. Mm -hmm. And then we jump back down to our two. Um, let's play that one again. Yeah. From the jump? Yeah. We're going to jump back up to our root note and we're going to do the same phrase that we've played before. We're going to go um, root seven six. So if we go from the, the middle part of that, from the concert F major triad, we'll play the whole of the second part of the melody. Uh, cool, 
so that's the melody of uh, Mac the Knife. Um, you probably already clocked. It's um, it's all made up. It's completely diatonic. So we're really we're just using the notes of our concert B flat major scale. Um, what might be cool is actually just to play that major scale together. Um, just nice and slowly, crutches two, three. <laughs> So that's our um, that's effectively our home scale. Um, there's a scale within that major scale, which um, a lot of the uh, melody is kind of consisted of. I'm going to hand over to uh, Mr. Bunting. He's going to talk a little bit about this uh, hidden scale. Lovely. Well, the pentatonic scale is a really successful scale um, across the world. If you think about um, the music of China, music of India, the music of America the music of Europe, and most folk music uses this scale. And one of the reasons is, is because it doesn't contain any semitones. If we think about the uh, major scale, we have a B flat, a C, and that's a tone. And then we have another tone, then we have a semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now, semitones traditionally are harder for human beings to sing. Tones are a little bit easier. And semitones sound like this. And tones sound like this. So tones, to my ears, um, sound a little easier. Um, so when we take those semitones away from the major scale, we get this scale. which is easier to sing for most people, would you agree? Yes. I'd agree. Great. Um, which, and because it's easy to sing, it makes it perfect for melodies for songs which are sung, as Mac the Knife was. So, um, it's also, when we're thinking about melody and our improvisation, it's a great place to start when we want melodic phrases and um, nice communicative improvisation. I'll hand it back over. Glorious. Um, cool, so um, that's the pentatonic scale. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little go, um, maybe give a couple of examples of us using the pentatonic scale in an improvised context, and then you guys at home in your various homes can, uh, can have a go at that yourself. But before we do that, let's, um, let's just think and practice that scale first. So um, as Andy said, we're avoiding the semitones. So effectively, this scale is made up of um, five notes, which is one, two, Three, five, and six. So should we try and play that slowly together, ascending and descending? Two, three, four. <laughs> And then me and Alicia are going to have a chorus each, just demonstrating um, how we can use, you know, we're going to lean on this pentatonic scale, which is kind of the melody anyway, but we're going to have that melody in mind, just to give an example, and then we'll play a little bit for you guys to have a go at home. Cool.
Uh, that's Mac the Knife. So what we had there was a head in, a solo from me, a solo from Alicia, and then that gap, you've got three choruses basically to practice your uh, pentatonic scale, or your major scale, or the melody, or you can just have some fun with it, try some other notes, uh, that's all up to you, and then we've got a head out. And that is Mac the Knife. <laughs> 